Okay, then uh, now uh, today also we are going to discuss about food laws and regulations. I hope that, that you can remember the things we have discussed in the last week. So uh, I will ask some uh, few questions uh, from you. So, uh, so these things we have discussed in the previous lecture. So can you remember why uh, do we need this type of system? and food control system. What is the meaning of food control system? Can you remember? And uh, food advisory committee. So we have discussed. Who is the chairman of food advisory committee? Who is the chairman? Kavya Munasinghe, who is the chairman of food advisory committee? Kavya, can you remember? Nadun? Nadun Chaturanga. Nadun, can you hear me? So, are you there? Prasad Sampath? Prasad Sampath? Hello. So uh, you have to give answers. Who can give that the answer? Who is the chairman of food advisory committee? Nobody. Risa? Risa Mohammed. Oh, oh Bajrif? Who is the Bajrif? Who is the Bajrif? The Director General of Health. Director General of Health. So you have to give answers. So if not, uh, I can't continue. So then we have discussed that one and uh, Introduction to low food laws and regulations and their impact. I hope that uh, we have discussed the differences and similarities in between laws and regulations. What is the main difference in between uh, food laws and regulations? Can you remember? Kwasana Sandamali? What is the main difference? So I so you can give your answers. Takshila Dilrukshi. Takshila. Can't you remember? So I think uh, so. Uh, not you have not prefer, gone through the lecture so uh, so it, it means you need not to uh, it's it, it means that uh, it's not important for you neither that's why you haven't go through these lectures so there is no meaning to conduct because we i have prepared the presentations and everything so uh, no answers from you No one can answer. Can you remember the food act we have discussed? The word even. You can't remember. Oh, it's useless to conduct this type of lectures. You can give your answers in any language, in, even in single or English, you cannot give your answers. Oh, 
ඔගොල්ලන්ට ගිය සතියේ කරපු ටික තේරුණාද ඔගොල්ලෝ අහගෙන හිටියද ඒ ටික so if not i have to stop this lecture and uh, ask the coordinator to give you a message so excuse me sir ुलेश So, so other parties they can uh, develop their own regulation based on the acts, right? Okay. Then uh, <clears throat> there are several stakeholders. So uh, for food laws and regulations, you know, we all are the stakeholders, and uh, regulators also also stakeholders, and food operators, and maybe food handlers, and the manufacturers likewise. and scientist as you also scientist and maybe manufacturers after completion of this degree so uh, we all are stakeholders and the very important part uh, of the stakeholder group e, they are consumers you know we all are consumers so we all have to adhere and it's uh, for our security we can complain uh, we can refer we can uh, search the regulations and get our actions so likewise uh, Uh, several stakeholders regulators food operators scientists and consumers and uh, this is these are the objectives of sri lankan food act so uh, i am going to explain uh, the food act in detail today so uh, before that we have to discuss the objectives so uh, the main uh, there are four main objectives regulate food advisory committee can you remember that one food advisory committee i think we have discussed the food advisory committee director general dg health is the uh, chair person and there are some other people and uh, you also can join later uh, as uh, experts and industry people so you can also join so regulate food advisory committee and control the food manufacturing importation selling and distribution so we have to we have to have a controlling system in as a country and repeal the food uh, and drug act it is also one objective and provide for matters connected there with or incidental there to it means related to sub matters to the food tax there are so many sub matters uh, we are going to discuss <coughs> related to the food act so these are the objectives you need not to remember these things just to just for your information and there are four main uh, major areas major section so uh, actually i can uh, i can do i can explain all the food act i think it's very boring one so you uh, the time is also not good so that's why i have prepared this uh, summary so i will do this summary i will explain uh, the summary of the food act uh, then we will discuss the food act so you also can read it i will show you how to download it okay then there are four major sections in the food act there are four parts the first part is about prohibition in respect to food the second part is about administration and third part legal proceedings and fourth part is about general things so uh, let me discuss about all these all the parts and then we can read the uh, food act so uh, the first part it's about food additives what what are the food additives give me examples for food additives i think you are aware about the food additives give me example what are the additives or oh, name uh, give me one example one name what are the food additives can iska give me a food additive kavya you know give me example kavya munsing 
Yes, ka. I can hear you. What are the food that gives? Salt. Yes. Sugar. Sugar, yes. And Nadun, Chaturanga? What are the food additives? How to get the color? Pigments. Maybe flavor, colors, flavors like food additives are there. So uh, uh, in this chapter, you can see about uh, food additives and fitness for human consumption. You know, the main objective is of this food controlling system is to provide the safe foods for the consumers. So in this section, it reveals about the fitness of for human consumption. And cleanliness should be there when preparing foods and when selling food, foods and story, storing, transporting every uh, step. So we have to have a clean environment and adulteration. What is adulteration? Give me an example for adulteration. Prabodha Kularatna. Any idea of adulteration? What the adulteration can? You should have idea. Adulteration can I'm not asking the definition, so give me an example. I have an idea, sir. Ah. Then Tatsarani Jaitilaka? Tatsarani? Any idea about adulteration? I'll give you a hint. So, uh, when it comes to uh, uh, honey, maybe bee honey or kitul honey, prickle. So, what type of adulterants we can use? So, how can we adulterate? Any mixing. Mixing what? Sugar, I think. That is called adulteration. So, in the food industry, there are so many adulterations are going on. You know, in, uh, in especially in dairy industry, they are adding chlorine, and water and some um, uh, and some uh, preservatives like adulterants and uh, even in uh, spices you can see it's very a uh, common example for chili we add colors red colors chili powder uh, sometimes the industrial people they add colors for uh, turmeric they add some colors and flour starch so like adulteration commonly happening, uh, frequently happening in the industry. So how to control it? Uh, and it is very important to control adulteration. So in the first part, you can see. And sanitary conditions, maintaining sanitary conditions also important. You can read the food act and you can see these uh, things. <clears throat> and prohibition of manufacture, distribution, importation and sale of any food which unfit for human health. It, it called as uh, prohibition in respect to food. So you can see uh, how to uh, avoid adulteration, how to detect it, and consist disease animal substances, decay, decomposed, putrid, and unclean food sub substances. Sometimes you may heard that uh, in the in terms of meat industry, uh, there are some uh, articles. You can find that type of articles. Uh, some uh, animals with diseases, then they will kill those animals and they will slaughter and sell, send to the market. And sometimes, you know, uh, we have some permissions and some uh, legal procedures to slaughter, kill and fishing. So instead of having those legal uh, procedures, some people, they use unethical method so sometimes you know uh, we can use some chemicals put into water and then all fish will 
it's very easily collect because uh, such things are happening in sri lanka so it should avoid how to avoid it is mentioned in this chapter prohibition of importation selling distribution of any food under insanitary conditions sanitary conditions are very uh, you know what are sanitary conditions so uh, there are so many example i will show some pictures later so insanitary conditions sometimes you uh, you all know the peta uh, bus stand or railway station when you uh, get off from the bus then normally we go to uh, take a tea or maybe uh, for some uh, instant food short is so you can see there are sanitary conditions right especially in the kitchen you can see the in front of the the boutique or the the food store it's very good but when we go to the kitchen or back uh, area it's not good uh, not adequate so prevention of labeling packaging printing processing advertising of any food by misleading or creating erroneous impression to the consumer it is also happening i think we have discussed in the first lecture in the first slide first three of third or fourth slide i have given some example some cricketers some doctors and some um, famous people they are doing some uh, misleading activities so as an example you know uh, about some uh, noodle varieties you can see the, it's very rich in nutrient and some uh, milk powder you can see uh, you have to take or you have to drink or you have to consume that milk powder variety to get energy that is the message they are passing but reality uh, you have to understand there is no uh, such nutrients there and no person can label pack sell advertise any food by violating we are a prescribed standard is available so you know that there are so many standards are available national standards slsi as an example sls lsi standard and some international standards as well like iso standards and fda standards who standards are available so you you can't uh, label or pack or sell any food uh, without uh, adhering to those rules sometimes i personally know that uh, in the uh, the railway station in kalambu peta railway station you can see in the morning they are selling water bottles even there is no label they just take some uh, water bottles and put uh, some water we don't know the source of water and they sell so uh, it's actually it's uh, it's not good so uh, we have to avoid we have to stop these things and prevent selling of food uh, rendered unfit for human consumption for other purpose such as animal food without the permission of chief food authority so if it is a spoiled food if it is not good for us then we can't sell those uh, food items to as animal food so it is uh, also banned thing by the by law so uh, when we are going to use some food as animal food so you have to we have to get the permission from chief food authority there is no provision manufacturer prepare package sell or distribute any food without having a license or registration from relevant body so you so Uh, if somebody is going to start a food processing uh, plant or food packing area or food transport or any business regarding the food so it is necessary to get their approvals sometimes maybe from the phi maybe from the uh, provincial council maybe gram nirdari from your gram nirdari so uh, there are procedures so we we all have to uh, get the registration or even license you, you know in a, as an example in uh, alcoholic beverages there are there are, there are uh, several uh, types of licenses so we can't uh, sell liquors without having that license that is one example and some meat shops they also have such uh, should have some license so license and registrations again they are very important to have before uh, conducting or before starting any food related business any problem anything to discuss further so i am going to move to the second part so in the first part uh, 
I think uh, you have good idea about uh, you have good picture now, so you can read these things again. And uh, anyway, you need not to remember. Just read it and get idea about uh, the part one. So I suppose there are no more questions. So let's move. Excuse me, sir. Please. Excuse me, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Sir, uh, adulteration can name upper mission can you get Single in this. Oh. Uh, I can't remember the single word exactly. So the meaning of adulteration means uh, we are adding something. We are adding something to a particular food with a view to earn more profit or uh, and then value. So it means that maybe uh, sometimes there are uh, two types of adulteration. Apita hithala adulterate karanat pula samalata otoma ibeema adulterate reno. Right? Ito samalata oguru danno apitheng kiri geena kota. Api when we are uh, taking milk from the cow, ito kota yage angeti and deva leka tuyeta pula. It is natural. Uh, adulteration we are we don't know what is happening sometimes you can uh, take the milk obtained from the cow and then you can add water or salt or something uh, different than milk so we call it as adulteration then now they get adulteration from the hegra karana plan api dan natu at adulterate you know api dan again at adulteration can know i get my adulteration okay the and the ultimate objective of adulteration is to maybe uh, increase the volume or increase the weight or earn more profit, right? Clear? Yes, sir, thank you. Yes. Then uh, the part two, administration. Administration means, you know, administration is very important. What happened to Sri Lanka now? So administration is not there neither, since there are no good, no good administrators in our country. We have administrators, but they are uh, not there to control our country. So administration is very important when it comes to food. Uh, in the Food Act, you can see the part two is about administration. So uh, in this chapter, they have uh, revealed all the administrative parts, how, how to do these things. Establishment of a food advisory committee. We have discussed what is food advisory committee, and the members of that committee, there are so many things. So uh, in this part, they have mentioned in, the, in this food act, it mentioned how to establish this committee. Then designating Director General of Health Service as the chief food authority, right? Then providing the director, you know that uh, there are so many members, all these things are there. And providing for approved analysts, you know, uh, there are around seven. There are seven laboratories approved, uh, government approved laboratories, and uh, how to function in those things, and who are the leaders, and how to handle these uh, laboratories, and how to get their uh, reports. All these things are there, and providing for food authorities under the Food Act, uh, Director General of Customs for Imported uh, Food, Chief MOH for Colombo Municipal Area and local authorities, you know, that I think we have discussed these things. So uh, and, uh, those things are belongs to administration part, right? And how to nominate them, how to appoint this committee and what are the responsibilities and authorities they have and ceasing procedures in respect of articles, ceasing how to seize the food, how to get actions. Likewise, these things are uh, available in the second part. So uh, I have summarized these things uh, to give you a brief idea about the food deck. If not, you have to read all these things. So I am not, uh, so it's not very good. It, it's, uh, you can read the, the, these things detail by after downloading the food deck. So I will summarize the things are available. Right? Under the so part two, you can see the about food advisory committee. They have maximum three years time after appointing you know uh, they have maximum three years time and if if we need their service 
for more than three years, then we have to reappoint them, right? Uh, shall be eligible for renomination. If, we, if the committee decided that we need the, the, this director, this uh, person's service, uh, the service later, service, uh, continuous service from him, him or her, then we can reappoint him, renominate him. And main function of this committee and assigning subcommittees, you know, there are some subcommittees as we have discussed in the uh, previous lectures. So these things are there. And other food authorities, you know, some peripheral uh, uh, committee, uh, peripheral authorities are there, uh, such as urban councils, municipal councils, development councils, such as Pradesh Sabha. So there are some, uh, uh, some other uh, food authorities rather than uh, having uh, this food advisory committee. So how to appoint these things and duties, the authorities are also there. Emerge, what are the roles of emerge uh, related to food back. So all these things are there. Okay, I think uh, the administration part is over. So we, I will show you in the food debt in detail. And uh, <clears throat> let me to move uh, in the third part, legal proceedings, right? Under this part, this is actually one of the very important part of this food debt, legal proceedings. And here you can see in this uh, part three, chapter three, what are the offenses? What type of offenses are there? And what is the meaning of offenses in, uh, with respect to the food industry? And legal actions and fines, right? What are the legal actions you can take by uh, referring the food act? And the fines, related fines. Uh, <clears throat> it means that, uh, you know, uh, when we, uh, when we take, uh, when we, uh, uh, when, what do you call, uh, when we, uh, Cross the pedestrian crossing, right? When we stop up, stop our vehicle on the pedestrian crossing, you know that we have to go to the court, right? If we overtake a vehicle by crossing the single or double line, then there is a fine. Likewise, in this Food Act, they have mentioned uh, what are the offenses and related fines and defenses and reports of approved analyst type of the reports and how to prepare those reports and the way and the path and who uh, shall be responsible for these reports everything is there and the way of collecting samples and sample arrangement how many samples we have to draw and how, how uh, we, we we have to, the, the way of packaging and the way of transportation and how to submit sometimes you know uh, if it is a uh, fish or meat sample, then the, te the relevant temperature is there. So you, you can't take samples and send to the laboratory without having, uh, without providing such environmental factors. So uh, I can remember one example. There is a very famous food processing factory in uh, Matara. I'm not going to tell the name now. So uh, it's very popular food processing company and uh, they had a business for uh, salt those days then what happened uh, the phi you know sometimes we have to give, give something for phi and uh, in in in, uh, in sri lanka you know the conditions so we have to pay something uh, so we have to go follow the some uh, unethical ways to conduct our business without having any troubles so uh, they also uh, salt processing line and then uh, you know that iodine is the critical thing available in the salt so phi in every week he he come to the processing line and he takes some samples and uh, send to the government analyst by <clears throat> mentioning that there are, there are no more there are no uh, iodines according to the standards so what is happening there when we studied that case so uh, what he's doing, he draw the samples on Friday, right? Then you know that in the Saturday and Sunday, government uh, offices, uh, they are not functioning. So he put those samples, uh, they, he, he exposed those samples to sunlight. Then what happened? Iodine will denature and iodine evaporate. So uh, uh, there are uh, 
different types of mechanisms are happening as a result of sunlight. Then he submit those samples on Monday. Then two days there he kept those samples uh, outside. So what happened then? Uh, after checking the, after getting the lab lab report, you can see the, there are the ID amount is not adequate, right? So uh, in every week and every month, the company they they had to uh, go to the court and uh, pay some, uh, do some. Uh, they, they, there are there were some fines. So then what happened? They stopped their business. Sometimes there are people from Matra, you know that you may know this, you, you may heard this story. So this is what happened in this is what happening in Sri Lanka. We have a food act. We can use this act for uh, good purposes and bad things. So uh, therefore, but anyway, in the under the legal procedure proceedings, you can see uh, it in this uh, chapter they have clearly mentioned the way of sample collection and submission. We have to follow, not we. But there are some uh, representatives uh, like PHIs and MOI, so they have to follow these things. If not, you can complain that he draw the samples on that day, he didn't uh, do their job uh, clearly, so you can complain by referring this act. So that's why we need to have a good uh, image, good understanding on this good act. And part four, it's general things. There are some general things like abbreviations and definitions and uh, what type of actions we can get. Sometimes we can uh, do something for uh, in good faith, right? Sometimes as an example, we can do something Then what happened? When police came, comes. So you will, you will have trouble. Then, uh, so, and never give us the Kohoda Piazrini, Kielat, make Kielat, you know, and certain funds to be paid for the local authorities. There are some funds we have to pay some uh, uh, something to the local government and some uh, offices, some and reports to get some reports we have to pay. So, the amounts are also there, right? And notification of food poisoning. The food poisoning is very important. Uh, Nowadays, that food fraud and food terrorism, like things we are discussing globally, food terrorism is there, and uh, and you can remember the thing in aflatoxin case, aflatoxin incident happened in Sri Lanka a few few months back. So likewise, some food poisoning are there. So uh, if there is a food poisoning, so we have to inform to the MOH, then 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 MOH. He has to, he, sh ha, he, uh, he or she has to uh, give this message to the relevant party to take action. So, uh, likewise, uh, these are general things. And uh, food regulations are also there under the general. So, we will discuss these things. And you know, there were two amendments. There are two amendments in uh, were made in 1991 and 2011, but there are uh, very small amendments, so changes of some wordings, and they have introduced some uh, authorities. We had uh, the food in the Food Act, the original one. They have introduced some persons, but with the time we have to change. Like with the time we have to change some authorities. You know, in the in COVID controlling, COVID uh, controlling, you can see in Sri Lanka we have uh, different systems. We had different systems. Uh, in the first stage, in the first uh, wave, the, the doctors and the medical guys, they handle these things. But now the army, uh, the army commander, he is handling these things. So with the time we have to do, we have to do some changes. So uh, in these two amendments, you can see some uh, small things, small changes. Then we can see, uh, we can move to the food deck.
how to download this one is go to google and just type sri lanka food that here you can see food that and the amendments are available right food control administration unit ministry of health and you can download these documents all three languages in all three languages sinhala english and tamil right can you can get this one this amendment is a food act right you can see food act number 26 1980 published by the uh, sri lankan and the certification date also they are 17 july 1980 right an objective you can see an act to regulate and control the manufacture importation sale and distribution of food to establish a food advisory committee to repeal the food and drug act and to pro provide for matters connected they are with incidental Uh, they are too. So uh, this objective, and as we have discussed, there are four uh, parts, right? In the part one, as we discussed, prohibition in respect of food. In this part chapter, we have discussed these things. I just show you, and no person shall import, sell, distribute any food manufactured, prepared, preserved, packed, or stored. Under insanitary condition and packaging, labeling, advertising, how to do these things, uh, you can see. And standards, right? Licensing. Here you can see no person sh shall manufacture, prepare, preserve, pack, or store any food in uh, any premises unless such permission. premises has been licensed by the relevant food authority who shall be the licensing authority likewise yeah, you can see these things in part 1 and part 2 it's about administration we have as we discussed the director general of health service who shall be the chairman of the committee right he is a chairman and assistant director of health service in charge of food control administration shall be the secretary right and government analyst ct analyst as we discussed there are several members and here you can see the, the a representative of bureau of ceylon standards nominated by the ministry minister in charge of the subject of industry so you can see but we have discussed uh, in the previous lecture there should be a member from sri lanka standard institution but in this uh, Food Act. They have mentioned a representative of the Bureau of Ceylon Standards. There is a name change. No, there is a uh, old name. You can see the old name of SLSI. But in the uh, amendments, you can see the correct name. So that's why I mentioned that they are only uh, very, very uh, little changes are there. and duties of the food advisory committee you can read these things food authorities uh, all these things are there so i'll give you assignments so therefore you have to read these things one by one and i propose if we if it is possible please download these things and highlight you can uh, you can highlight these documents using pdf paper so you better to highlight these things and read ஒரு <laughs> 
right then part 3 legal proceedings offenses For the first offense to find not less than 250 rupees, you can see the amount as we discussed, eh? not exceeding 500 rupees. They have mentioned the uh, amounts for the offenses. Right, likewise, uh, there are amounts and defenses. Permissions, permissions, and part four, the last one, general, right? As we discussed, in the part four, we can see abbreviations and uh, some. Uh, how to application other written laws and some relevant parties, relevant uh, acts and relevant documents. These things are there. And some definitions like advertisement includes any represent. What is the meaning of advertisement? Uh, according to the Food Act. So you can see advertisement includes any representation by any means whatsoever for the purpose of promoting directly or indirectly the sale of sale or disposal of any food right what is the meaning of advertisement so if, if it is advertisement uh, there should be a the, 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 if it is when it, if it is advertisement so there should be the things mentioned in this definition so then then only we can say it is as a advertisement and who is the government analysis Analyst, who is a government analyst, right? Means the person for the time being held in the office of government analyst and expect for the purpose of uh, section and includes any person for the time being holding the office of additional deputy senior assistant and assistant government analyst. So, how to appoint him and the qualifications he or she should have, and what is the food label, everything is there. Right. Before moving to any uh, industry, before starting your own industry, before developing a food product, you should, you shall read these things carefully, right? Right, this is a food act. You can see this food act, which was, uh, which was started in 1980. And you can see, the first amendment, which was uh, developed in 1991. In this amendment, amendment one, uh, there are some changes. Like right? here you can see in section one of that section by the substitution for the words of manufacture, import, sell or distribute any food. Of the words manufacture, import, sell, expose for sale, store and distribute any food. Here you can see some new words, new terms, right? As we discussed, there are some uh, new wordings and changes, right? Here you can see this part B by the substitution in program uh, paragraph A of that subsection for the words that has upon it of the word that has in or upon it. There are some little changes. So this is the uh, food amendment. Right, then uh, we have to read the food amendments also because sometimes you may use the words and terms and laws and authorities mentioned in the Food Act. But now there are two amendments, right? Likewise, there are uh, number two So there are some amendments with these amendments. Sometimes uh, th there are some changes. Okay, this is the 1991 one, 
and 2011 latest amendment and uh, the, the last year also they have started to uh, review this food act and uh, a new version will come soon so then uh, we are waiting for that one and you can see the date uh, you can see the latest one which was uh, started from 2011 right here you can see some changes again right this one also change size size here you can see in the 1981 you can see the member of uh, bureau but here it is clearly mentioned the director general of sri lanka standard institute institution institute right so the name has changed right likewise there are some changes okay small document so i hope that uh, it's clear so uh, therefore um, therefore uh, you can read the food deck now clearly and please go through the documents if we, if you can't download i will share the documents with your with your group uh, so any question munar therun adhyatya the food deck again very important right uh, so i i must say some uh, something regarding the exam so you need not to remember all the definitions and the things i will ask some practical questions right some case studies so uh, for that one you have to have a very good understanding about food deck so uh, in the last paper the last year paper you can see uh, i i ask about the aflatoxin issue right how to handle it how to handle that case then you should have idea who are the responsible people and uh, how to how to complain it uh, the type of laboratories we have to send and how to take the reports and how to get decisions based on that one and after getting decisions uh, do we have any uh, path do we have any method to uh, make our appeals or likewise you can read you have to have a good idea right but nowadays um, nowadays you know that there are so many exporters they have started their business in sri lanka especially in food industry i am also supervising more than 10 companies they are they have started their own uh, small businesses Uh, based on exporting food exportation so uh, before that before that you should have a, uh, you have to follow these things not only sri lankan food act and regulations there are some international laws regulation standards so if you, you will have very good chances do not try to enter any government office do not try to uh, work with some other industries it's good but you always have to think you know technologies and management everything is there in your curriculum how to manage the business how to develop your own feasibility report everything is there how to do the value additions so sometimes you will have questions from your neighbors uta i have uh, some uh, i have some uh, cinnamon with uh, in our in uh, in my land so what we have to do because we i am not uh, ready to sell these things as as raw cinnamon right ape gidara kurundu thiyena mata meka den paavala thinni kurundu ikula so are any value additions so you should have idea how to what type of value additions we can we can do and before that before that you can develop your own product you can add some uh, colors to cinnamon and some uh, you can put cinnamon into some beverages so before that uh, it is very important to have an idea about the food laws and regulations 
what type of colors we can use and what are the banded colors and uh, and the standards for cinnamon how many standards are there how to check the quality of cinnamon and what type of quality parameters we have to check likewise there are so many things to study and you know the publicilla you know publicilla ahala tirane publicilla gila kenek inna doctor publicilla so he is also developing some foods right he had some manioc and uh, moringa and some turmeric and develop a food so that is not food technology so uh, sometimes in you 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 may have questions from your uh, maybe parents and relations so they will ask uh, what are you studying in this uh, food processing technology they will ask uh, are there any uh, cookery classes in your degrees so they will ask sometimes uh, uh, what type of foods we uh, we need i i have such uh, i have diabetic so is it good to eat uh, suandal rice so sometimes you will have such questions so then you have to answer those questions as well so always try to read new things in every night you can read article or research paper you can download you better to download some articles and videos also you have but uh, pay you attention on the source ogolu dakina facebook ke me da asle yanawa covid walta araka hondai meka hondai weight loss ni guru kanna mona de goraka kanna muwen alla thoru dala e wage there are so many uh, things they are circulating ne some people they circulate these things so as you are technologist you should have you should have good knowledge and updated knowledge right public silva ge ogolo paan hadrona ogolo you are not food technologist right etro ogolo mona hari dekak ekato kala food ekak hadala export karanna erona if you are going to develop a new food by using two three ingredients together and develop a food and just market it that is not food technology right so uh, all is i told you don't uh, uh, and try to start your own business try to do something new then you have a market then you have a demand need if you are a good if you are a talented uh, technologist then you will have you will have jobs and you will have a demand then you can demand my i i need this time i need to more than 200000 i need more than 300000 per month if you are okay then i will come and work with you so likewise you can demand yourself so be a good technologist right be a good technologist you have a very very uh, very good opportunities not only in sri lanka but also in the world but those days we dry food by using sunlight and still in sri lanka we are using kerosene dehydrators but in the world they use some type of so they use type of modern technologies so you can just type how to dehydrate foods you can read you can get articles right right always try to uh, improve your knowledge and skills and do innovations and publish your research then only you can add something to your cv before before leaving from the university now you have good chance your parents you have sometimes your parents and relations neighbors they will help to uh, get your degree you don't have any uh, you don't have so many contributions you don't have children you don't have parents you have, don't need to look after your parents now so please read these read some articles please do innovations we are always with you to help and try to add something new for your cv you know Um, more than 500 students they are pa- they pass out annually in sri lankan national universities so are there any jobs for 500 food scientists in sri lanka no not at all so uh, be a good uh, be a good technologist be a good person be a skillful talented people talented technologist so we will help you if you are interested uh, you know that i am uh, studying uh, some uh, image processing techniques these days and i am very interested on in drone technology and i am very interesting on in automation so 
but i also have the same degree food science and technology i don't know how to program how to write programs what is uh, python i don't know i i i have never i never heard these things so nowadays i'm trying to uh, learn these things because they are very important you can't survive in the industry nowadays we have robotics we have uh, automated systems we have we are we are being used uh, some artificial intelligence so you should have good knowledge you should have good knowledge uh, rather than having a degree right degree is just a document some in some uh, multinational companies they will never ask your degree certificate right they will never ask your degree certificate but they will uh, they will ask your they will uh, interview you and ask and they will measure your talents only talents right i am participating i have participated several interview boards and also several interviews as candidate so i know i have that experience right so these things are important you can download food that and everything from the internet you can read these things these things are available but skills you can't download right you can't download talents so that's why every day i am asking questions right then you can give your answer maybe right answer or wrong one right in your you know the mcq paper papers you you are you put your answers if you put answer for all uh, number 1 then you will have some marks right right all or kiyana kana leena wage leva gidiwa karanna puluwang but just try to do something okay right i am going to stop from this slide today and please download the food that and read what what type of uh, things are there and please download the amendments as well and go through this document uh, before next uh, day lecture so the next day i will discuss food regulations this uh, the regulations are very important so uh, i will start the regulation part uh, in next week any question do you have questions no more questions right thank you thank you very much for joining so uh, remember the things i have discussed today and the next day i will uh, at least uh, i will ask i will appoint 10 people to for the to give you answers and at the end of this lecture series you have to do your own presentation regarding the food laws and regulations with a case study so uh, try to give your answers don't uh, uh, don't worry and uh, and 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 enhance your abilities and skills okay thank you very much again and i will share the recording with you to the lms thank you very much